Welcome. This is the energy vibration um, reading for all sun, moon, and rising Leos, and this is going to be an extremely wonderful week for you guys. This is the last week of July 2017, and I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support that you have been given. To it is so wonderful I'm so grateful welcome all new subscribers and I hope you will subscribe please stay tuned thumbs up and uh, um, I'm sending you so much love you Leos thank you so much I really really appreciate it it is the last week in July 2017 and we are looking at the energy vibration of um, the week of uh, the Emperor the Emperor is wonderful so for all the um, Leo's who are having birthdays and not not having birthdays as yet or your birthday has not come um, this is going to be the week for you guys which wonderful things are happening because there's a lot of reverse cards but the ones that are in reverse is the right ones that uh, um, is supposed to be in reverse um, a week begins from the 24th until the 23rd and um, with all the wonderful positive energies that are coming in it's a wonderful time to really um, connect with yourself but yet still connect with things around you and this is going to be extremely good um, the energy of the week is fire so it's a wonderful powerful week for you Leo's you have uh, so many new beginnings and as I'm looking at this um, the ace of Pentacles is here you have ten two times so that's a good 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 thing to have you have um, the Queen of Pentacles who is going to come in and help you and it's going to bring a celebration so whatever is happening for the Leo's who are connecting with the Queen of Pentacles or someone the Queen of Pentacles has connected with you it's a soul family that you have known for a very long time the eight of Pentacles is here so you'll be working very hard and stuff and you are protected in the time while you're working hard and stuff so well, this is going to be good your focus is going to be the three of ones which is a wonderful energy whenever the energy of the three of ones comes up that means you're leaving something behind and you're looking forward to something new in your life and this is wonderful so for all the Leos who are about to make a change in your life and about to establish yourself in a different way it's going to be perfectly wonderful because what is happening here it's that uh, um, the universe is going to open new doors of opportunities for you so this is extremely extremely wonderful um, portals new doors if you're looking for work it's going to be a wonderful week if you're going to about to start some new project it's going to be a wonderful week for that a lot of loving energies are coming in as we look at Monday we have a uh, uh, water energy and it is a ten of cups which is very wonderful you have two tens in this week uh, 10 1 11 it's going to be your number 10 1 and 11 is going to be your number so it's going to be a very happy family life and with this energy of the family what is happening for you guys with the energy of the family you are going to bring him money okay so whatever is happening in your family money is going to play a role money is going to be coming in your financial security is going to be very wonderful so this is going to be good you have the ace of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles is coming in and whenever you have money and financial security your family is feeling good you're feeling good and everything is okay as we look at the energy vibration we have the three of swords in reverse and what happened with the energy of the three of swords you're going to see wonderful new beginnings that are going to happen to you so whatever that you have felt as a loss whatever was lost it's going to be regained you're going to um, regain your strength if you had ended a relationship or a relationship had ended you're going to find inner peace whatever is happening you're going to be very triumphant over it so let's say for instance that you had a heartbreak uh, somebody walked away out of a relationship or you were having a fights with people you felt lost uh, you felt as if you have lost something that you've always wanted that sort of a thing um, you're going to find the inner strength to um, 
find a place within that is going to um, help you to let go of the loss because whenever we feel lost is that we are not totally completely aligned with ourselves, and that's why we feel lost okay as we move forward as I said in the middle of the week we have the Queen of Pentacles she has been coming up this is another earth energy in the middle of the week Queen of Pentacles is here and the Queen of Pentacles is bringing you something wonderful there is going to be a celebration whenever the Queen of Pentacles comes and bring a celebration that means she is going to bring balance into your life not only balance but she is someone who's going to bring light-heartedness and help you to bring balance in your own life so this is going to be extremely wonderful so if you are <coughs> someone who is about to to do um, a business deal with the Queen of Pentacles or um, you're trying to connect with the Queen of Pentacles because you want to have a positive outcome it is going to be good on Thursday this is another wonderful card but be careful of this um, page of swords because whoever this person is uh, um, be careful of them because they will go to far lengths to do things that is uh, not correct and it's all about your work so you know um, for people who are you know have their own business and that sort of a thing be careful of who is the page of Pentacles because these people can go to far lengths to try and do you things okay so be aware of who that person is as we look at Friday we have another energy and we have um, the eight of Pentacles you're working very hard whatever is happening you are working very hard and I can see um, the orb of Archangel Michael being penetrated in this picture which is the blue the light that you're seeing that's just the orb of Archangel Michael so the angels are here protecting us and guiding us okay the energy that is here is the nine of ones and the nine of ones is that about um, as you're working hard you're being protected toward the universal angel so you know if you're working hard if you have to work overtime and that sort of a thing call upon I am um, you know just say I'm calling upon my guiding angels and my spirit guides and universal angels for divine protection I'm calling upon heaven source um, a source of all things uh, for divine protection and uh, they will protect you during this time as you do your work okay as we move forward we have the energy of the ten of swords and it's in reverse it's, it has been coming up in reverse form for a lot of people and again you have the energy of uh, um, the page of swords in reverse so I'm hoping that this is good it is coming up twice in reverse this is the second one you're seeing in reverse so whoever that was making conflict or whoever that was bringing chaos in your life or whatever and whoever was lying because the page of, of swords um, always bring someone who's making um, uh, you know people who listen and people who carry you know news and that sort of a thing but yet still uh, people are listening on your call that sort of a thing people who are watching you and that sort of a thing it is in reverse so be careful of what is happening because whatsoever is happening it is in reverse be aware um, two times in reverse is like a really um, a warning light it's like the amber light at uh, the yellow then you have the stoplight so be aware of what is going on around you okay as we look at um, is this four or five I'm telling you people after 40 your eyes go very bad and I think it's the five of cups but I'm gonna put on my glasses to be aware so on Sunday you are going to have the four of cups on Sunday you have the energy of the four of cups but it was in reverse my excuses it was in reverse the four of cups in reverse so this is good because it's right diagonal over the three of swords and what is happening is that whatever is happening around you why you felt art broken and that sort of a thing you're realizing that uh, um, the art break that you felt uh, it is um, 
and not going to stay and it's not going to last um, you're getting out of that stage and you're going to heal yourself so in the weekend you have the ten of swords whatsoever that was happening and with the heart with you are not looking back at things and you're trying to you know heal whatever it is you have the ace of ones which is a brand new beginning so whatever that you had lost whatever that was lost is going to be regained and you're going to have a very wonderful prosperous new beginning so this is going to be extremely good for you guys okay as I look at the first half of the week um, you're going to overcome the loss the heartbreak the three of swords that energy you're going to um, overcome that and you're going to find inner peace and there your family life is going to be very very uh, connected okay which is going to be very good and whoever that was slandering and that sort of a thing people who were lying backstabbing and all that sort of a thing it's over it's over okay in the second half of the week the same energy comes up um, you know whoever that was uh, you know uh, you know listening to you taking news back and front and that sort of a thing it's going to be finally over because you have also with the four of cups and a new uh, a new um, uh, the four of cups is bringing you a new beginning and uh, with that new beginning you'll be working very very hard and through that time you will be protected so this you know ending the last half of the week in that sense it's going to be good what i find to be such a wonderful energies for you guy is this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles being and bringing this three of cups because three of cups is actually success it's actually triumphant and success also a victory over something that has affected you for a very long time and you have been victorious and uh, this 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 queen of pentacles is going to help you to move over and step over that and realize that there are new things that is about to come in the um a portal is open up for you guys in this week so if you want to manifest in this week do that because a new portal is going to open up love is going to be very strong whoever the screen of Pentacles is she's going to be a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn whoever she is she is bringing this uh, success for you she's she's really bringing in this success for you and she's going to help you and guide you along your part so with whatever is happening this queen of Pentacles so if you got connected in whatever sense or you've met somebody who is a Taurus a Virgo or Capricorn this person is going to be um, at your side helping you to 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 move things along and this is going to be extremely good so whatever is happening for you guys it's going to be a positive positive um a situation that is going to happen for you and this is going to be extremely good whatever way you look at it um work is going to be good a lot of um you know the the uh, whatever is happening on monday money is going to come to you the family and it's going to bring such a financial balance to your family which is going to be extremely good so the family life love success and abundancy um, success with connecting with people who are going to help you who are going to help you to overcome and whatever you have lost these people are going to help you to overcome them okay so it's it's a week um, which is good and I'm using the funny decks um, for you guys because sometimes we need to have fun it's the last week of July and whenever it's the last week I like to do something um, to bring in light-heartedness and we are going to look and see what is the message that the universe uh, the abundance universe wants to say to you um, um, Leo's this is a beautiful card so you have the color the color of, and 
I know a lot of people are going to say I don't give the colors anymore, but it's not all the time. Okay, it's in the reverse form. And I think it's two, so you guys are going to get both. Okay, I want you both to look at both cards and choose one of them. And when you choose one, what are the sunflower or um, the stream? I'm going to first do the stream. The stream. An abundant life is an abundant life. Abundant life is an abundant life. Not abundance all by itself. In case anyone asks you, you know, see yourself in the dose of life and see me at your side. So this is good. The universe is saying, you know, um, whatever an abundant life is, an abundant life is not abundancy all by itself in case you ask anyone you know see yourself in the throes of life so this is wonderful okay so remember this is the stream this is the stream okay now we have the sunflower great big air to air open mouth smile are responsible for far more sizzling romance salary increase life extension and calories burning than your diet doctors and financial plan will never come and show us your to smile so this is wonderful this is a sunflower this is a sunflower card and this is the stream okay so choose one of these and speak to the universe with one of these so it's good that you guys got two energies okay we're moving forward to the energy of the e oracle the oracle of the e the oracle of the he i love the oracle of the e it's another funny deck i like using the funny decks and we have Mustin right along. Mustin right along. We are Mustin right along, people. Okay. Might as well write your acceptance speech. Your creativity mojo is in a rare form. Inspiration, idea, brilliance, schemes, and cultures plans are streaming in from every direction courtesy of your inner must get out of get out a bucket and drink in the sweet nectar of your inventions and fun and this is so super nice this is so good it's wonderful so here we are at the end of this reading and i want to ask each and every person please like share these videos thumbs up Please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And the week of August is about is around the corner. So remember, I think in the middle of next week, uh, the readings will all be up. So I want to say thank you for being here and to have a wonderful week.